we'd make a quick beef stew with zucchini, onions, and eggplants. These are from the farmer's market, so they're a little um, different than what you find at the grocery store. Uh, the color does not affect the taste, and it should come out delicious and wonderful and quick in our Instapot. So to begin a stew, we're gonna go ahead and hit the saute button. And I already put some olive oil in there. And we have our onion. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. The beeping just lets you know that the heat is going on so that you'll be careful. And you could let that oil heat up a little, but for the sake of this video, I'm just moving things along. To really make your stews stand out, you wanna add the spices. It can change every time. This time, this is what I'm using, and I'm gonna put it in with my sauteing onions so they kind of um, wake up those dried spices. So now my spices are added. I'm gonna go ahead and stir them real quick. Um, and just make sure that it doesn't burn. So you should have some olive oil or butter or something in there with it. And it's only going to um, saute for a minute or so. Now this is a large stew, so there's a lot of spices. So don't be afraid to add a good bit of spices. You do want to be careful with the salt. You want to add a little bit now and then a little bit at the end. My onions are close to being done with their sauteing phase. I'm going to go ahead and add my other veggies. These are eggplants, kind of finely diced up because they take a little longer to cook all the way through. And then we're going to add our zucchini, which are a little chunkier because I don't want those to be mushy. I'm going to give that a stir to kind of coat with those spices. Okay, I went ahead and added my ground beef. It is still frozen, which with an Instapot is okay. I'm going to add some water. So now I'm going to add a spoonful of flour. You could add gravy mix if you have that. Um, that just helps thicken the sauce up as it cooks. And a little more water. And we're going to put our lid on. Once the lid is on, we're going to make sure that it is in the sealing mode. And then we're going to hit the meat stew button. And that's all we have to do. So after a quick release, this is what we're left with. 